Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about configuring the uh, replication of source and destination buckets owned by the same account. So in this case, we'll be adding objects to a single bucket and we'll be seeing how that are replicated in the other bucket. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a bucket first. So for that, you have to go through Amazon S3, so which you can find uh, in the storage section in the all services and click S3. So once uh, you are in this S3 portal, create one bucket. So let's create one bucket. And in this case, I'll just add it as a MRT uh, bucket and make sure you on the versioning. However, if you don't on the versioning as well, like whenever you're creating uh, the replication rules, uh, you will be uh, prompted to add the uh, versioning. So you can just enable it or else like just disable it and let's see what's going to happen. So I'll just uh, leave it and just create it. So why do we use this uh, replication? So it is a process of creating and maintaining the copies of your data across multiple storage accounts. So it helps to improve the data durability, availability, and can also provide low latency access to your data for different users in the different locations. So that is what the definition is. So we have created uh, the bucket and uh, let's go to the management section. And we also discussed about the lifecycle rules. Let's discuss about our application rules. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, create one uh, replication rule. So in this case, I'll add it as uh, rule one. And uh, before that, we have to add other bucket. So since we are already added one bucket, so we need to add the other bucket here. So since we don't have any bucket, let's go ahead and create one. So let me go back here, buckets, buckets. Let's create one more bucket. We'll name it as uh, MRT bucket one. And uh, let's leave it as default. Let's create it. So we have, okay, let's add it in the different location. So I'll just delete this one first. Marty bucket, let's add one one because the other one will be in the process. So I'll be using uh, USD list and uh, let's create one so it's done we have created uh, two different buckets which are in two different regions so let's go to the first bucket and go to the management section and here let's click the replication uh, rule so here we have to add uh, the rule name so in this case i'll just add the rule one So you can see we have uh, got a prompt in which replication requires versioning to be enabled uh, for the source bucket. Enable object versioning on this bucket to continue creating this replication rule. So click enable. So it's done, it's enabled. And uh, let's leave everything as default and coming to the scope, let's apply to all the buckets. Or you can, if you, are, if you want to add to the specific location, you can use that prefix and add it. But uh, in this case, we'll just apply for the all buckets. So, Usually it will be enabled. You can make it disabled if you want, but uh, it's better to enable as of now. And let's search for the bucket, which is the second one, which is a different location. So choose the path. And you see, we also got uh, the other one, which is replication requires versioning to be enabled for the destination bucket. Enable uh, object versioning on this bucket to continue creating the replication rule or uh, select a different bucket. So we don't have the versioning for this bucket since we just created it, uh, you know, without with the default uh, options. So click enable uh, bucketing and uh, next coming to IAM roles. So let's select it. Uh, so according to the docs, it's better to create a new role. And uh, let's leave everything as default. So maybe I'll try to add this information in my blog or Instagram channel. So we can just visit that to know more about this. So I'll just uh, leave it as default as of now. So we'll be discussing that in the further videos. Let's save that and I'll just click uh, replicate the existing, but we don't have any, but yeah. So it's created. I think I clicked save, right? Save, oh. Uh, did I miss anything here? It's created, right? So we have uh, our replication rule, rule one, which has been enabled. 
so now let's go back to our buckets so we have uh, bucket here let's add the objects so if you remember previously we were making a static website so i'll be using uh, those documents here so uh, index file let me add that and uh, let me upload this so we have uh, successfully uploaded it so if you go back to the other bucket it has not yet uh, created an object maybe taking some time so if i go back uh, it's successfully uploaded in this uh, virginia region but uh, coming to the other one is two it's taking some time so let's wait for that and let's see if we get the results or not there you go so you can see it has been updated so we have added uh, in the bucket one but uh, it has also been updated in bucket 11 so since we have that uh, replication rules enabled in the bucket uh, mrt bucket so that is how the concept of replication works let's say for example let's say i delete this uh, file so let me delete this So delete. So we have deleted this object in our uh, uh, the main bucket, which is MRT bucket. So what do you think? Uh, will that be reflected in the replication bucket, which is MRT uh, bucket 11? Let's go ahead and look. So if you check the other one, it's still there. So it has been not yet deleted. So that is how the concept works. Like, uh, it will be there. So if you click the versioning here, you see it, it has been delete marker for this, which we have discussed in the previous videos, like what is delete marker and why it is used uh, when we delete it. So that is how the concept of uh, replication works. So just wanted to show you this. So let's go ahead and delete uh, the buckets. Let's see how it's gonna work. If I go back to management, initially let's delete the replication rule. So click here, actions, disable rule or delete all. So I'll just delete all and uh, add delete. Deleted and uh, the next one is, uh, let's delete the bucket. Initially let's empty the bucket. So here add the permanently delete. Uh, let's add that. So all the objects have been deleted from inside. So let's uh, delete this bucket. Done. And next we have to delete the other one now, which is in a different location. Empty the objects, permanently delete, and exit, delete the bucket. And here, MRT bucket 11 delete. So this is how you can uh, work on these replication rules. So I just told you the basics one, but uh, down the line, uh, maybe I'll try to explain more about these replication rules and uh, also create a blog related to this uh, topic and even an Instagram channel. So please make sure you follow this Instagram as well as uh, my blog. So I'll be keeping that in the description for your reference. Uh, coming to this video, I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. If you've liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please share the video. Thanks everyone.